morning. Welcome back to uh, day two of the overnighter. I'm walking around this uh, huge gravel bar looking for some driftwood or anything dry to burn. It's a little chilly this morning. Can't tell by my toboggan and my pullover. But uh, it's probably around, I don't know, 30s possibly. I'm not 100% sure. This morning I already drained out the kayak. It uh, had a few inches of water in there. That's the negative about a sit-in kayak. But uh, got it drained out. About to get some coffee rolling because it's a cold morning. It's a beautiful morning right there next to the river. It's a perfect setup for a nice cup of hot coffee. So uh, we're about to dive in some coffee. I'm watching my step, my dog just took a poop. But uh, anyways, here's some wood that the uh, last campers left behind. So I'm gonna take a few pieces of this to our fire get warmed up by the fire this morning so we possibly have five to six miles left of this float so probably get done maybe in three hours depending on how much fishing I do because <laughs> I do fish a lot and it takes a lot of time so anyways thanks for sticking with me and uh, stay tuned we'll get to today's adventure she's ready All right, we're rolling with the uh, Folgers classic roast ground coffee this morning just a little single sample pack I need it strong this morning so I'm gonna dump the whole contents inside the jet boil all right now we're gonna put the press on and then let's push that down to the bottom press all the coffee grounds to the bottom coffee is served My wife and I, we're starting to break down everything, break down the tent and stuff, and get our uh, gear packed out on our kayaks. But before I do all that, I wanted to walk you through this chair. This is the Send Rest Light chair from uh, Bass Pro Shop. And it was the only one there for camping wise that had the highest rating. The other two weren't so good. So I went with this one just for the ratings I saw online. And I have to admit, uh, I'm 240 pounds. My wife is like 100 pounds tops. So they're fine for her, but for with my weight, I was shocked. It held me up well. So my biggest concern was these are kind of like spears. So on a gravel bar like this, you see uh, under my feet here, um, I was worried that they were gonna dig in, which they did, but they only dug in a little bit. But once they kind of stabilized, I sat pretty comfortable. So it's a very comfortable chair. It's a light chair. I mean, I don't know the exact pounds on it, but uh, it's very, very light, probably less than five or four pounds. But I do want to show you how easy these things pack down into a small bag. That way they're perfect for your kayak or canoe trip. On the back here, we'll pop off this canopy where your butt rests. Just take it off on each side. As you see, it's already collapsing as soon as I do that step there. So we'll lay that to the side. So it kind of just looks like some scissors. So just like a tent, you would just uh, just start folding these stakes on top of each other, like so. You just go around. All right, then after that, it, they give you a bungee that's attached to the center of that scissor-like thing. And you just wrap that around, and you have a loop on the other side. Just like a tent door, you just loop it together like so. All right, there's that part. Now this part, you wanna uh, just kind of fold up neatly. Like so. And then you just put your uh, little legs inside that and just roll it up nice and tight. And uh, here's my forearm just to show you the size comparison. That is a small chair. And here's the bag for it. Yes, I still have the tag on there just in case that it didn't hold my butt up or broke. I was gonna take it back because it said it was supposed to hold 250 pounds. So anyways, fits nicely in that bag, very easy. So I have to admit, this Ascend Rest Light Chair is awesome for kayaking.
Come here, little guy. Nice, chunky one. Just caught a rock bass and then a few moments later caught this guy right here. Pretty good little area. Wish I had more time to fish today. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, just casting this uh, Mega Bass Shad. I'm not gonna be uh, twerking too many TRDs today or slow moving baits just because uh, we're on a time schedule day since we gotta work. Like the rock bass are about to uh, spawn too. This one's fat and it looks like it's got some eggs coming through. So we'll let her go. We want more rock bass in our future for sure. Nah, I'm just teasing. All species are great, but I wish it was a small mouth. There's a good one. Fish on. Got another small mouth. Yeah, nice little deep section with some rocks. Not a big one, but still, it's a catch, and I'll take it. Fish on. Ah, oh. I went to see my boys at H24 Outdoors, and they got this new uh, Rage Tail Ned Bug from uh, Striking, and I'm using that as a trailer. So I'm just kind of casting upstream in the current, letting it drift down around these big boulders underneath the water, and uh, that one smoked it. Got a small mouth on the bitsy jig with that rage tail Ned bug on there. Uh, been a bit. They're liking that little uh, bitsy jig with that uh, little Ned bug on there. I think it's the Ned bug, but it's catching them. My trailer on that bitsy jig is this right here. It's the Rage Ned Bug Green Pumpkin. So that's what I'm using for that jig. I got an H24 Outdoors. And it's uh, it's working. It's a beautiful combination. Especially with that uh, micro jig. I know, I bet y'all was impressed of me uh, not throwing the Ned Rig right now. But I'm just trying out different things, you know. I really like that uh, Mega Bass Spark Shad. Unfortunately, the durability of those is not that long, so. But, uh, anyways, we're going to get back downstream. We're getting close to the takeout point. And uh, there's a lot of great holes. But really, if you want to fish them, fish them in great detail, you need a three-day trip. That's for sure. There's so much good areas to cast at. But we're running low on time, so we got to blitz to the vehicle. Oh, we are home. We just pulled up. Oh, three hours, one direction. That was a long drive. I'm exhausted. But I do want to show you something before I let y'all go. So look at all this stuff. I mean, that's uh, one, two, three, four. There's five. There's five dry bags. They're all 20 liter plus. Oh man, that's a lot of stuff in the kayaks. I'm glad it all fit because we definitely needed all those items. <sighs> I can't quit yawning. No, oh, I'm looking forward to a shower and my own bed. I mean, I love kayak camping. I love it a lot. I still want to do a multiple day trip, but uh, yeah, one night on the uh, gravel rock bar, <laughs> it's good enough for me. I do want to give y'all a quick summary of Kings River before I let y'all go. Overall, the river was beautiful. It was a nice float. Um, 
gorgeous area, a lot of bluffs, stuff like that. So the fishing was pretty good. Like I caught tons of fish, tons of rock bass, smallmouth, nothing with any size, but it was tons and tons of fish. So, uh, which is a blast. Sometimes you just want to put the numbers in the boat and just have a good time. Uh, the overall trip was 16 miles, I believe, 15 to 16 miles. It took us, uh, you know, a day and a half to float. Uh, I spent a lot of time fishing, um, trying to discover some new holes. We're able to get on some fish and find some fish, but uh, there's just so many good spots to fish there. I mean, if you really took your time at each spot, it'd been a three-day adventure. I highly recommend the Kings River if you're ever up that way. It, for us, right here, it's three hours away, one way. So we spent six hours in the vehicle just, you know, all together traveling. So. It's a good distance for us. I don't know how often we'll go up there, maybe once a year, but uh, it's definitely a good replacement of the Buffalo National River until it opens again, which I heard it's opening next weekend. So, Well, enough with all this jibber-jabber. I gotta get unloaded, everything in the garage, laid out so it can dry out, and I'm taking a shower, and I'm going to bed. So uh, I'm gonna go to bed early tonight because I got work tomorrow, and whoo, <laughs> I'm gonna be exhausted. But anyways. It was well worth it. Well, as always, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you on the next adventure.